Hanya Yana Mayanya Hanya Yana Gihara Hanya Yana Gihara Hanya Yana Gihara Yana Gihara Hello again friends and strangers, it's Pam. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and join us. Today for my video, I will be doing my first ever book haul and I think I deserve it because it's my birthday month. So yes, I keep using the birthday excuse for every book that I bought before this video came about. So. I know I'm not the only one, so let's get right into it. For the first book, it's Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. It's a second-hand copy or a used copy of the book and I found this in Shopee Philippines so it's from this seller and they also have other books like Murakami and other local books so feel free to check them out and the book is actually in a very nice condition considering that it's a used book so the only thing I know about this book is that one, it's super hyped, two, there's a heist factor and that a prequel, um, The Shadow Bone, please correct me if I'm wrong, is going to become a Netflix series and I'm actually curious if the Shadow and Bone trilogy is a precursor to reading Six of Crows. Although some people said that people can just jump into Six of Crows without having read the Shadow and Bone trilogy. So I'm looking forward to reading this and hopefully liking it. <laughs> Another shoppy purchase is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. I finally pronounced that correctly. The only thing I also know about this book is that it has broken a lot of people's hearts and a lot of them cried over this book and it's also such a very dense and long book. Like, it's over 800 pages. And before you pick this book up, please, please read the trigger warnings because I also heard that there are some heavy, heavy, heavy and devastating topics in this book. And I'll link some relevant blog posts, non-spoilery blog posts from friends that I saw who read this book. I'll link them in the description box below. Two purchases from Fully Booked are one, The Star of the Sea, and two, The Fifth season by N.K. Jemisin.
The Star of the Sea is one of the very hyped books last year and I don't know much about it but people have hyped this book so much and said that it's so atmospheric and it's just so beautiful and I think it's a book about books as well, I think, if I remember correctly. And it's written by the author of The Night Circus, which I haven't read yet, but I have a copy. So I'm excited for this. And it's a different cover from what I was usually seeing, the black version. So it's okay. Thanks, Fully Book. <laughs> um, another book that I bought from Fully Book is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. And it's from the Broken Earth trilogy, which is an adult fantasy magical realism book which I'm very excited about to get into because I've been I feel like I've been on a pause when it comes to fantasy books and I've been wanting to dip my toes again in fantasy and I feel like the fifth season is a great way to start. I'm so excited to read more books by N.K. Jemisin because I love her writing and that says a lot knowing that I've only read her novella called Emergency Skin and even though it's such a short book, I've also loved that and I'm excited to explore more of her writing. Now we're gonna open a package also from a Shopee store and I'll put their photo here. Um, I already know what's inside but I feel like you'd also want to see me open this package. I almost cut the bookmark. I did a bit. <laughs> okay, so here is the package. So, oh my gosh, I cut the bookmark a bit. Again, the star is called The Bargain Reader, and the package came with free bookmarks. So, thank you for that. And these are the two books that I got from them. One is called Sagala by Tori Tadiar and the other book is Si Janus Silang at Ang Tianak ng Tabon by Edgar Calabia Samar. So these are the two books. They are Filipino books and one of my goals this year is to really expand my library and include more local books. So Sagala, I, I bought because it looked good outside and it looked good inside. So just look at the art. I'll, I'll just take a video of this one. It looks so good. I'm so excited for this. And, and it says at the back that bullets, betrayals, and bells of the ball. Sagala is a Filipiniana fantasy story about gunslinging girls, overprotective older brothers, mythical ambassadors, and conniving courtesans against a backdrop of deceit and guns hidden under petticoats. I, I just read the blurb now, and now I'm even more interested. Okay, let's move on to the next. Wow, that's such a pretty book as well, Janus Silang. I know that Janus Silang is a series as well, and I've heard from a lot of booktubers and book bloggers that it's also a really really good series and it's actually written in Filipino which admittedly I don't read much of as in it's written in Filipino and that says a lot about me but um, I guess I'm just not very used to reading in Filipino colonialism. But then again, I'm very excited about this and I'm looking forward to reading more from the series and I hope that I will like this. Okay, on to our next one, which will be very big. So, the next one is huge. Just look at this box! <laughs> and I'm so excited because this is really my first haul ever. I used to buy books like once a month or once every two months. So so excited to receive this. And it's from my husband, Bran. It's his birthday gift to me. And so thank you very much. I love you. 
seat. You get a shout out. So let me open it. I don't already know inside though, but I'm still so, I'm still so, so excited. Well, that's a lot of plastic. I, that makes me kind of sad, but... and start filming to open the package. So I'm just so excited. This package arrived today and I just want to give a bit of a shout out to Fully Book because their customer service is so fucking amazing. Like they're so accommodating with your requests and they're so speedy with their replies as well. I don't know why I'm holding the scissors like this. But why am I making things so hard for myself? Okay, there. There we go. Don't judge how I open things. But let's see. Okay. Let's bubble wrap inside. When buying, when buying things online, make sure that you keep the bubble wraps because who knows, maybe you'll find some way to use them in the future. So what I usually do is I, um, how do you say that in English? My brain is blah right now, but I wouldn't say that you fold, uh, fold! What I usually do is I get the bubble wrap and then I fold them, then keep them and set them aside. So, let's do this. That's a lot of bubble wrap. See? I fold the bubble wrap for future use. I like my books safe, but we try to reuse if we can't recycle. So I'm just trying to get all the bubble wraps out. Is this extra? This extra bubble wrap. Okay. Let's get on with it! So, so first from my birthday gift <laughs> is The Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead. From what I know in the, about this book, it's based on the real story of a reform school that operated for 111 years and it affected so many lives. The book is set in the 1960s in Tallahassee and it talks about a black boy who is unfairly sentenced to a juvenile reformatory called the Nickel Academy. So there are chambers of chambers of horrors and other delinquents. I've only heard very 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 good things about this book and some even had this as their favorites of 2020 and I'm excited to read this this year. The next book is the Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I've already read this years ago and I loved it. I know I love this book so much and I only remember it being told in the perspective of death and it was during war. I'm excited to reread this and finally have a copy of my own because when I read it years ago, it was a borrowed copy from a friend. So. I'm so excited to have the copy and want to reread it. Next is 
Next is The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro. I'm looking forward to reading this because I read a novel by the same author called Never Let Me Go and it's one of the books that resonated with me. Although I don't know much about this book, I also heard good things about this and read good things about it. It's quite a short book as well. I hope I get to pick this up this year. So such a pretty book as well. The fourth book in this haul is The Blood of Elves, a novel of The Witcher by... I don't know how to pronounce the name of the author and I don't want to look young but yeah it's the author of The Witcher and I think it's the first in the series and there's a Netflix series out if you haven't heard about that or if you haven't watched that which cave are you from? Because it's been all over the internet when it was out. So my husband chose this for me among my wish list when other books in my cart was not available anymore. So he was like, I see The Witcher in your wish list. So I just chose that instead. And I'm like, it's okay, babe. Because books on my wish list were out of stock immediately. And I know there are a lot of books in the series, but I've only watched the show and I've only saw the game, so I'm excited to read this. What should we say excited to read this for a few more minutes? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so excited. And the last one is, oh my god, seeing it up close like this. It's a mythology book by Edith Hamilton. It's the illustrated version. So a bit of context. When I was in high school, I only saw the first edition of this book and I keep seeing it in the library and I would borrow it but I guess the text format is just not for me because it's so small and although the book is compact, it's just not compelling me to read it. And then the illustrated version came out years ago and whenever I go to conventions, book fairs, and book sales, I would just see this there and I'm like, when will I be with you? And it's here, finally! I'm so excited to read this because I've just been so interested in Greek mythology for so long and, and I'm just so excited to read this. Oh man! This is a huge book. Like, wow. So it's the 75th anniversary illustrated edition. So <laughs> I'm so happy. So I have to have it in my hands. Six and a half hours later. Oh my gosh. I think this is just for the rest of the video, me touching it gently and so good. I'm just so happy, I'm so sorry. Three weeks later. I kind of want to open it. birthday book haul video and I'm trying to lift everything up and I don't want to fail but here we go I'm using my boob to fix them ah oh, it's such a workout but these are all of the books 10 books added to my library and my never-ending TBR pile thank you for watching thank you for staying and watching me fangirl over this books and blabber and tell you what I don't know about some of the books don't forget to like comment and share my video if you can if you haven't subscribed yet please do so I'm gonna roll the outro now before I say more awkward things. These are all the books. These are all the books. These are all the books. Okay, bye-bye.